if you look at the last two years, the dollar always struggles in the first half. So um, then in the second half, it comes back. So the reasons have been different. Uh, two years ago, it was the Roman fee devaluation. Last year, it was the Trump uh, trade. So um, this year, I think for us, we are really looking at uh, the Fed, you know, uh, moving towards a steady rate hike. So we are looking, we are hoping that tonight we get the rate hike. So this will confirm that uh, they move from one hike a year to one hike per quarter. So it's a normalization process. So we are not really looking as to, you know, uh, just about whether it's going to hike. But that if it's a normalization process, then we have to look back into history. And what do you expect in terms of uh, the number of rate hikes and whether or not they actually trim the balance sheet at the um, end of this year? Um, at, at this point, we are taking them at face value. That um, you know, the uh, last economic projections is looking for at least two hikes um, for the rest of the year. So um, although San Francisco Fed President has not discounted the possibility of a fourth hike, uh, so, no, uh, <clears throat> yeah, four hikes this year, and maybe another four next year. So if that's the case, then there's a normalization, there's a big perception gap in the market. But I think, interestingly, this gap is actually working in the Fed's favor because the market doesn't believe, so there's no disruption. So the market is actually calm. So it actually allows him to very comfortably normalize. 